Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll be learning how to make lava in Blender. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. First of all, start by selecting and deleting the default cube and light. Then go into the render setting and change your render engine to cycles. Now go into the world settings and change from color to environmental texture. Now import your HDRI. I will be using the Skylit Garage from Polyhaven. Turn down its strength to 0.1. Now, to hide the HDRI, go under Film and click on Transparent. Let's add a sphere. Add a subdivision modifier to it. Increase its level to 3 and apply it. Don't forget to shade smooth the mesh. Now, we are going to set up the camera. Start by positioning it where you would like to be. Open the Object Constraint menu and add Track to. Select the sphere as the tracked object. Now open the camera's viewpoint and change its dimensions to be a square. Then, under the camera settings, increase the focal length until the box matches the size of the sphere. Start by splitting your viewport in two. I, the lower half, open the Shatter Editor. Click on the sphere and create a new material. I will rename it Lava. In the upper half, switch to the Shatter Viewport. Now go in the Material menu. Scroll to Settings, and under Displacement, select Displacement, and Bump. Make some room between these two nodes. Add a Displacement node and connect it with the Material Output node. Then, add a Noise Texture node and connect its factor into the Displacement height. Now change the values to these ones and feel free to experiment with them to find what suits you the best. Change the Base Lore to Black. Now add an Emission Shader. Add a mix shader node on the principled BSDF, connect the emission node to it. Add a black body node and connect it to the emission color. Add an ambient occlusion node and connect its color to the mix shader's factor. Then, add a math node and add 0.15 to the ambient occlusion value. You may want to decrease the sample rate or the resolution. Then, go to render and render image. And it's finally done. Now you know how to render volcanic rocks, but what about making normal stone? Click here to find out. 